What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's Monday. I'm back from Sturgis. That's why I'm all hot and sweaty and undone because I've been trying to get everything cleaned up and put away and get all the chores and all the un unfun stuff caught up on. Um, but being that it's Monday, of course, that means it's time to clean all of the snake tubs and racks, get everybody fresh paper, fresh water, start over brand new so that uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, or as you guys are seeing this yesterday, we can feed. And then while they're feeding, uh, while the, the snakes are feeding, I'll do the rat tubs tomorrow. So uh, I, do, I do these uh, cleanings once a week, obviously, like you guys have seen before. Every Monday when I get home from work, um, every tub gets cleaned top to bottom, and the racks get wiped down, regardless of the condition that they're in, because I'm trying to keep them consistent and clean as much as possible. Um, but about once a month or so, I do go through and I do a really good deep cleaning and that's what we're doing today. So um, I'm just gonna kind of take you through with me a little bit through all, I'm not gonna video all of it obviously, it's not overly exciting. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna take, I actually already finished this one, but we're gonna take them out, um, take all the tubs out, wash them good with hot soap and water, Dawn dish soap, which is safe for the animals. Uh, wash them with soap and water, scrub them really good disinfect them and then i'm actually probably especially with this 10 high i'm going to pull the rack forward so i can dust uh the back half of the rack that i can't reach um, from the front because you know some of the issues with having your rodent breeders uh, in the same room is you do get a lot of dust from the food um, but it's just there's there is no other setup at my house currently and i have had some people met uh, message on instagram and and YouTube and that about having the rodents in the same room as the snakes saying that that's completely wrong and that you know this person this person this person this person you know name dropping a whole bunch of people they never do it so that means it's completely wrong and it's bad and this that and the other and it's gonna drive your snakes insane because they can always smell them and you know the the beautiful thing about this hobby and and that is there's a bunch of different ways to do it correctly. Um, and there's a bunch of different ways to be productive and successful at it. And the reality of the matter is, I don't have any other room, any other way or any other place to put the rat racks. Um, I thought about building a, built a little shed building out under the overhang on my outside patio, but I live in Montana and it goes from minus 30 degrees in the winter to it was over 100 degrees this past week here in the summer i can't control that i can't work around that so um they're going to be in here and saying it's going to drive the snakes nuts is ridiculous because i mean as you guys know we can open any tub any time of the day does not matter they don't come flying out with some ridiculous feed response this is my Pinstripe ultra male female, Cleopatra. Getting some good size, looking good after a shed. But you see, they, they're not you know, ridiculously food aggressive every time the tub is opened. And I've had people ask me, well then how do they know it's time to eat? Because I drop a rat in their tub in front of their face. Seems pretty obvious. So the only, only problem I have to deal with is the fact that there's dust on the floor and there's dust in the air which gets on the racks. So the front of the racks get dusty, you know. So part of our deep clean after I scrub all the tubs, I'll, while the tub is out, I'll clean the racks, all the shelves really well, top and bottom, and disinfect them. So that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and get started. And I'll show you some animals along the way.
just finished cleaning this guy's tub. I wanted to update you on him. 553 grams as of today, Monday. Come on out, buddy. Hey, but look at this dude. This, of course, is the Red Stripe GHI male. Super excited to get him going this year. Got big plans for him, and he's watching you guys. But I had to show you him real quick. And you saw as we put all the girls away, um, bring it over here. Some of these girls are looking really good. Some of these girls are looking really good as well. Uh, the black pewter female who has already spilled all of her water, of course. It's just water though, so it'll dry. I'm not too worried. But this is the black pewter female from from Tyler at Tybron Reptiles. Looking really good. Black Pewter, of course, Pastel, and Black Pastel. And then always a crowd favorite, the girl Elsa here, the Pin Potion. Pinstripe, Mystic, Mojave. Super excited for her. We actually didn't think she was gonna go this year. Or was gonna be, uh, we didn't think she was gonna be ready, rather, but she's just been super good about eating until just recently and growing like crazy, so she's gonna get there. So I'm gonna get back at it. Hey, before I put her tub away, I wanted to show you this girl. She doesn't usually give me a whole lot of chances to hold her and say hi. This is Stella. Some of you guys have seen Stella. This one's also from Justin. There we go. This is a fire, excuse me, this is a yellow belly, 50% pos het clown female. But we're gonna take our shot with her. I love her color. It's just really, really bright. Beautiful belly pattern. But she's, uh, She's pretty feisty. She's not mean. She just doesn't like us in her tub much. So it's not often that we get a chance. See, she's watching me now. It's not often that we get a chance to hold her. So just wanted to show you her real quick while I was cleaning. All right, it's next morning. Uh, I ran way late last night trying to get everybody cleaned up. But that's what happens when you do a deep clean. It takes a lot longer. But everybody is spotless. Clean the soap and water, the, the racks look great. Um, and now it's time to feed. So, I just wanna, I'll show you a couple here real quick. Desert Ghost Pinstripe. Miss Jasmine, they're all ready for food. They know it's breakfast time, so. So anyway, and I'm gonna feed. I'm not gonna show the actual, uh, live feeding because I'm not sure that most people want to see that but I am going to put you up over here on time lapse and just drop them in and leave them the way I do it here and I, I learned this from a bunch of breeders is I just drop the live in and close the drawer 10-15 uh, minutes you don't have to sit and stare at it and watch it until it's gone um, if your feeders are well fed and in good health and well taken care of the, they won't bother the snakes and if your snakes are good eaters they're gonna take it right away and if they're not 10 minutes later it's not gonna hurt them so I drop them in go through the whole thing let them sit for 10 to 15 minutes come through check them if they're not eaten take them out and if they are so be it so let's get that done and we'll be finished for the day What's up everybody? Just finishing the edit on this on this video and realized I never got to do an outro. The last two days have been crazy busy getting uh, stuff put away and caught up from being gone for a week and getting ready for our trip to Europe coming up in a few weeks here. 
Um, and then I decided to throw in a deep clean in the middle of that. I do it about once a month or so, like I said, that it was gonna need it for sure. And I'm, uh, I'll probably do another one, honestly, in probably two weeks right before we leave, just so everything is really good, ready to go. Um, and if you guys are interested too, let me know. I'm, I'm planning now, I actually have been for a few weeks, on the rotation, the feeding, the cleaning, stuff like that, to get ready for being gone for two weeks. I, I am gonna have somebody come by and check on the snakes while we're gone and the rats, but I have been setting the collection up so that they'll be um, they'll be good while we're gone for sure. And I got somebody here that can give them fresh water and whatnot as well. But if you're interested in how I'm planning that and how I've been setting it up, let me know. Maybe I'll do a quick little uh, video about it. But um, yeah, it's just been crazy, so I've got to do an outro, so I'm doing it now. Um, I know this video is kind of all over the place, so just got a lot going on and trying to make sure I get it all done. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, as always, like and subscribe. Comment down below anything you got. Let me know. Um, we are like right there at a thousand subs. I could not be more grateful. I really appreciate all you guys' love and support. Um, the, the, the community is just overwhelming. It's been so great. And so I'm really, really happy to see that. And they've been helping each other out even in the comments too. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and head out and hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next week.